Hello all of you beautiful stardust people and welcome to my channel. Today is all about the base, about a base. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to draw a base, an upright base or a double base. It's the same thing, they only call it in different modes um, depending on the music style that um, is played. And because I want to give you the best information possible, I will also tell you some things about how the base is constructed and its different parts, how they're named and etc. So the bass is the largest bowed instrument in the string family. It has four strings, the same strings as the, um, the last strings of the guitar. In case uh, you want to know uh, the names, uh, is the E string, the A, D and G, or in European notes, uh, Mi, La, Re, Sol. In this moment, I am drawing the tailpiece. And now, I will be drawing the bridge. It's a part of the instrument where the strings are elevated so that they can be at the perfect distance from the F holes. If you look at the holes and at the forte sign, you will see that they look just the same. I also noticed a very good uh, resemblance between these holes and the base clef. If you look at the base clef, I will draw it at the end, you will see the resemblance. And it is no coincidence that you are hearing a bass line in the background. It is something I composed for you to be able to listen to some bass. The best place to hear bass players playing or giving their best is, I think, in uh, jazz music, where you can hear them even um, improvise and play a little bit with the strings up and down. And now let me just tell you a few things about how the bass is constructed. Okay, so we have the scroll, we have the tuning machine, the nut, the bridge that I already talked to you about, and the tailpiece. The neck, the fingerboard, the shoulder, upper boat, the C boat, of course the strings. Now I am drawing the strings and I'm doing my best in drawing them without a ruler. You can use a ruler and you will make your job much much more easy. On the neck and the fingerboard you can use a darker color as it is usually black and then the strings should be of a very light color. I will do this at the end of the drawing. I will transform the strings in uh, white on the fingerboard uh, region and I will leave them black on the lower part lower boat <laughs> that is it's called lower boat 
Every time you try to do a drawing, please look at the, the, the general shape of the subject. If you look closely at the shape of the double base, you will see that it's an 8 with a line passing through. And now I'll tell you how I came up with the idea of drawing with my fingers. I was just sharpening my pencil and I thought, what a waste throwing out all these beautiful little pieces of dust, of coal dust. And uh, that's how my idea came. As every time I'm looking at uh, an instrument I can see light and dark uh, places it always depends on how light is shining on the object so no one can know how the light was shining on the base that I was drawing you can just make the shape of the base with your fingers as I did in the beginning and it will eventually come out uh, darker in some places and lighter in others you can see it now and I just drew over with the sharpened pencil be careful about the pencil as you are drawing um, you must start with very light lines and once you are certain about the shapes only then you can go over with darker lines as I'm doing now I am now I'm already passing at darker lines and in the middle of it I am um, using my sharpened pen because even in the dark parts you can have lighter dark and uh, darker dark <laughs> I hope I'm seeing it right oh here I go again, nuts with the dust. And I thought, let's do something more artistical, like the music that is floating around the bass. And I thought it would be a nice idea doing some musical notes and a bass clef. As I drew the bass clef, I saw the resemblance uh, between the F hole and the bass clef and the forte. Here I'm pulling some lines. As you can see, the lines are not perfect. I just uh, did one by mistake but I left it there because it gives character to the drawing and these last lines are just for some volume I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial I hope you liked the fact that I told you something about the base don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you for watching love you kisses bye bye